Talk that might be perfect here. Yeah. yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> the, fin the Finnish F pack and the. Yeah, I was finished, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so, for my video, just hi, <laughs> it's just like the second video after the blog being, well, doing the blog scene, which is my race. But I'm finished. What? <laughs> I didn't show that. Yeah. But yeah, the times I were pretty close too, for the top four. Yeah. And our names and everything was put into the rigs before we sat down. Uh, so it, it's not like Jamas accidentally didn't pick his country or something. It's just a mistake by the organizers. So I'm starting third in front of Pierre Noir, my French teammate. Um, and then there is the Spanish guys after the French guys. <laughs> so Manu yeah. Rodri and Alex Sony. Uh, I didn't know what to expect on this race, to be honest. Um, I wanted to be two second, but when you see the guys in front, it was very hard to do it. And then, uh, even more, when you s so you see the car of Koke, the Volkswagen, it's so fast in the straight lines, even with the slipstream, you can't get it. So for Lightning and I, it was a big issue. And look at my car. And here we have the great start. <laughs> and I don't just start. Like, oh, I forgot to start the car. <laughs> Where's the keys? <laughs> yeah, and you see me dropping six, seven, and I'm waving in the in the um, my seat. I even stand up like what? <laughs> <laughs> when you look at the mini match, you just see like massive gaps in between every time someone has to overtake you. Yeah, it's uh, just crazy. So they restart the race um, yeah. after that. Thankfully, they do restart the race. And again, we had never practiced any of the starts. We only had practice, which is sort of like free mode in lobbies, just like free run. Uh, so we have never practiced starting, which is obviously on lower speeds. Yeah. Okay, breaking just a bit, little bit too late. And Lightning trying to go for the overtake because he knows that Korke is in soft tires. So if yeah. he can get the overtake on Korke, that means a ton for the whole race. Yeah, even for me, and I was trying to get advantage of it, but sadly I couldn't, yeah. because um, well, uh, the car is very slow out of the first hairpin, so I lost a ton of time here. But it's very fast on the rest of the um, of the track, and no one were very confident in their driving in the first lap, like just testing each other, trying to be close, and you will see that uh, the top three already like goes away from the hearts be behind. Like They're already out of the drafts, kinda. Um, yeah. And that's at this point where my sound issues begin. Like, it's crackling. For, for now on, yeah. it begins to crackle, and sometimes I won't have sound. So, it's an unfortunate that it came after the start, but as the steward said, it's a technical issue, as it could be on the real car for something else. So I just try to drive with my muscle memory and just goes as fast as I can and I'm on the tail of fucking lightning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have no idea how you did this race. <laughs> like it's I have really ideas. I don't know. I just okay, let's go. It's <laughs> now I, I have to do it anyway. Yeah. Yeah, and we're clearly seeing just you three just running away uh, on the mediums and soft ties for Koke. They were one nils on the hearts and gonna be slowing down the pack. Uh, yeah, even Porta Bene uh, and yeah. GTE. He started on softs because he had nothing to lose. And uh, so he wanted to try to get in the pack and just having fun. So by doing that and making your takes, he was slowing down everyone. So it was in my um, own purpose. So it was fine. And I didn't realize that during the race, I just tried to realize that right now. <laughs> and I'm still <laughs> on the tail of Lightning, um, so he's out. And Lopez is flying away with uh, this car. It's so uncatchable in the straights, and with the softs it turns better than our car, so he can only fly away for the first hint. But so that means he will have to pit before us. Yeah. So here we go, trying to keep in the draft. Uh, now we have the um, manual already overtook like Snake, RC Snake, and you can see on the on the timers that I'm a bit out of it because I had no sound at this point. 
um, I was lost in the SS. But in the whole straight, I can catch back very fast uh, the Subaru. But sadly, I was losing too much time in the corners. And yeah, um, this the strategy strategy wise, uh, because they they had changed the tires, uh, the mediums could do four laps uh, instead of three, the soft could make three laps instead of two, so it gives only three laps for the medium uh, the, uh, the the hards. Wow, uh, <coughs> when it was supposed to be five laps at the beginning. Yeah. So I I wasn't sure to make three or four laps for the first stint. I just say to Snake that I will do either three or four, depending on how good or bad are the tires. So just keeping that, that I will just figure out on the way. And I did four laps uh, because the it was good. Uh, the tire were still faster than the hards. And if I was speeding on lap three, I would have ended up in the traffic, which would uh, make me lose a ton of time. So. Meanwhile, there's Porta Bene, uh, who's uh, fighting with uh, Lenoir, which isn't yeah. for the French is very good, but that's the race. Yeah, he's trying to get the softs to do as much work as possible here early on, getting as many positions as possible. And Lenoir is just trying his best not to lose any time. Uh, already lost a good bit of time on uh, Rodriguez. Rodriguez is just having good pace here, and here we go, well fine. Yeah, on the outside of uh, on the SS, that's very risky, yeah. but it's so much time consuming. Like, you do that here, you lose all the yeah. advantage in the corners and in the straight after, because you begin to go flat out right after the first corner, after it's flat out until the hairpin. So if you just lose all of that, it's so much time lost, and you can see like Sony coming back very fast behind with the Porsche, which yeah. was my second pick, but I didn't take. I just went for mm -hmm. the um, for the FT one. And there's big fights. Uh, you can see that the sauce begins to drop now, uh, because it will be time for them to pit. And I was like, okay, let's go. I will continue one more lap with the. I was just following Lightning, just to be sure. <laughs> but yeah. if he did pit on this lap, I would have. Um, I've done it because I was third. I have nothing to lose at this point. I only need to be in the top eight to be qualified for the repechage, and which is most likely something I can achieve. But if I can get second uh, here, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't need to do the repechage. So, yeah. Cook, so Cookie is spinning now, um, and both Lightning and I continues with our mediums. Yeah, for you it's just like try and do as much as you can here. See if you can get that second place. And even if you do have a sm small mistake or something, like it's not the end of the world, you're still gonna be in the top eight most likely. Uh, so <laughs> I can understand just pushing hard, even though you have like no sound or very bad sound at times. Uh, and. Uh, Still, like, I have no idea how you kept up that pace. That I don't know, too. Uh, I wonder sound. if I would have been faster or not with the sound. But, yeah, yeah, I was just trying to do my best. No, I know at each corner where I have to break, where I have to turn, where I have to just look. Yeah. At this point, I do that, then that, then that, then that. It's just muscle memory. And it did work pretty well, because normally I can't drive without sound. It's awful to drive without sound. and Because... It's not like having no sound, it's just silence. No, you hear the crowd, because there is a crowd yeah. behind. So every time the Spanish guy is making a move, they are yelling, <laughs> and you hear it, and you don't hear it. If you have sound a bit, you don't hear it. If I, you have no sound, yeah. you just... I could even hear the Spanish commentators. Uh, yeah. So... I really tried my best. I had, As I said, I had nothing to lose. I'm like four tenths behind lightning. I'm catching like as fast as possible here. Uh, on him, on because the FT1 is very good in the tire wear, and sadly I've lost a bit of advantage by uh, them increasing the life of the softer compounds. But it was everyone; it was the same for everyone. So here we go to the pits. Um, we both go for hearts, 
and I don't remember if it's in this pit or the next one. I almost <laughs> pressed, do not uh, change the <laughs> tires. The cursor went on it. I was about to say, yeah. put on the cross. I'm like, wait, it's not <laughs> right. And I just yeah. put the soft and pff, let's go. But it, I was like, eh, ah, whoa. <laughs> that was, uh, I nearly did a similar thing. Again, like, if. If you don't know the rules here, we have to use one of each of the compounds uh, during the race. And just having to remember like what compound you have to go on next and having to like navigate it. Because normally you are just used to like one compound or not changing the tires. So having to like go over to the right compound every time before you pit in. Uh, it's kind of just a thing you have to get used to. It's kind of awkward to do. You just have your muscle memory as just yet. Okay, I'm in the pits, so I just have to like tap X to like get through it as fast as possible. I want to lose time. Yeah, and I almost did that mistake and if I did I will have to pit again, which is just killing the yep. the race and I will be last. So, so yeah. right now I'm one point four seconds with the uh, hard tires behind lightning. And I know that the FT one is not the greatest on the hard tires. It's it gets better with softer compounds, but on hard it's not that great to drive with. But I'm still in the times of lightning, so more or less. So as long as I'm in his time, as it's fine. And I was hoping to catch back Lopez because now that means Lopez has to go on the hards. When uh, lightning and I will have to go on the softs. So that means we will have to be um, very aggressive and try to catch him back for all the time we lost in the two first stints. And that means it will be a very nice ending, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Lopez is just running away with the soft first and the medium, so he's always like a compound softer than you guys. Uh, and he's just gonna finish on the hearts. Yeah, and behind me there is still Snake and Roman Manu Rodri, so <laughs> I was like, okay, I really need yeah. to push with my uh, hard tires because they were on soft and mediums. Well, used soft and mediums, but still. So, in the end I was about to give a bit of draft we of, uh, with Snake, but it's just fortunate. Uh, it's not the plan, like, I won't wait you for giving you the draft, no, it's just... If you have it, good for you, if you don't have it, just deal with it. So yeah, uh, so far it's like the um, not the boring part, but just we have to wait until <laughs> the next pit window. Uh, I'm trying to run away from the south because the um, the hearts gets uh, they don't get used, so the soft gets used, and at the end it's very slow, as you can see. And what do we just make the move with the mediums against the softs? Because the softs are already dead right now, and I'm pretty sure they will pit now. I um, can't remember, but I think they pit now. But Snake was pissed because he has been overtaken like very easily and couldn't do anything with the poor Beetle because he doesn't have any top speed, and that's why I didn't take it. Just no top speed. Yeah, this track is. <laughs> It's a very interesting track to like pick a car for because it has a lot of technical stuff, but it's also a very fast track and it has some very high speed uh, sections on it. Uh, and there we see uh, Lenoir yeah. into the pits. And we could like just forgot the white line for the pit entry, which was I was a bit sad of it because I like that <laughs> yeah. because many people can get penalties out of it. And but yeah. Uh, I tried to respect it a bit, some didn't from what I see, like at all. No penalty yeah. has been given, I should have maybe a bit more aggressive on it. But I wouldn't have changed anything because uh, with my headset, <laughs> the stress of being like stuck <laughs> in the first rolling start. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on and the whole... We had like a driver's briefing where it's like, okay, we got told all the rules and like about the track limits uh, not being enforced by the marshals and 
they did also say like it is a FIA section event, so like we would like you to stay within the white lines, but we are not gonna give you a penalty for going over them. Uh, yeah, never say that to the driver because everyone will go over it. That's for sure. Right. <laughs> so the lap pit window is now. Everyone will pit, or almost everyone who didn't. Uh, so Lopez, he's me, Rodriguez, Izarzi uh Hansel, and Davis will pit right now for taking the last set of tires. And um, it's with a showdown uh, because the BOP has been set for the hearts and not for the softs. So there can be very big differences for the softs on the cars in Group 3. And Lopez will take the hearts. Lightning takes the softs. And you see, I take so much time to take the softs because <laughs> I was about to press the wrong button. Yeah, let's see. Did you actually lose time on it? No. Let's see. 11.3, no. I was about to, but just no. <laughs> yeah, it was close. So, and I just exit the pits right in front of Pierre Lenoir. So, he's on mediums and on softs, fresh softs. So, I got all the um, opportunity to get run away from him and try to get back on Lightning. Um, I Lightning went away a bit. Uh, he's 1.7 ahead. Um, I begin to lose hope right now. And I also um, still have those yeah, audio issues. So I was like, okay, uh, I'm against Lightning. He will be most likely faster. And I still have those fucking issues. So I was like, ah, oh. <laughs> yeah. I'll try my best. But I think I would have to go to the repechage. And I didn't want it to because on Group B, I'm very bad very bad at it well compared to the group three um yeah not great but you'll see after <laughs> yeah group uh, three is really your thing like that's yeah. that's what you love that's what we've done the most uh sure you're really good in other categories too but this is this is what we raise the most this is what the FIA races usually end up being uh, uh, for the most of the time. Uh, and even with the Manufacturers Cup, it's Group 3 and Group 4, so there's also a lot of Group C. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is the, the most balanced uh, BOP, is the Group 3 guys. Oh, yes. So that is uh, the category to race in the game at the moment. And it's fast enough, it's gives close combat because there's not too much dirty air. Yep. Um, I'm dropping a bit against Lightning now 1.9, but we are just going so fast on Lopez again. But the issue is that his tire won't get down when ours will just lose so much space. So it's you have to be very close to him at the end of this lap, otherwise your soft will be as fast as hard, if not slower. And for me, uh, the first place was already settled because three seconds in two laps with the um, tire wear 14 times, which is very huge. I couldn't see that being a, a thing for me. Uh, mm. I did gain about two seconds or more on the Pierre uh, on my outlap. Yeah. Just a very even space between everybody right now. Yeah. Just, uh, slowly increasing the further down you go. 1.3 between the two first. But I think Lightning didn't try to catch Lopez because if he was safe from me, he had no point to fight Lopez. He would just wanted to be qualified. That was the point. Yeah. That's again the thing about this race. It, it doesn't really matter what position you're in if you're in first or second. And again, it doesn't matter what position in you're in if you are between third and eighth. As long as you are in one of those groups. Position doesn't matter. And there is the Spanish fight. <laughs> yeah. Because all the Spanish guys were in our, um, our, well, my block. So yeah. um, the crowd was, like, of course, supporting <laughs> them. <laughs> and here we enter the yeah. last lap, and 1.2, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16,
2.1 between Lightning and I. Um, I think the gap will decrease between Lightning and I, but not enough to be able to make any move or just even have the draft. So the predictions are pretty settled now. Um, maybe for the t not for the two lasts, but I don't remember yet if it's <laughs> gonna happen or not. But yeah, for the top three, it will remain the same. Uh, even top four. Um, yeah. I'm not even sure for Snake to be honest, but my feeling after this race was pretty bad because I knew I had the, I could have done it, and yeah. having those issues didn't help. Uh, I'm pretty sure I could have been a bit faster without. Um, Surely, <laughs> but sound is very important, and you're so used to it. Afterwards, being that close to Koke and her lightning without sound for the most part and <laughs> crackling for the other part is not that bad, but it doesn't give you a qualifying. So I was, okay, well, congrats to them, but I need to go to the repechage where I'm not the best at at all. And I wasn't confident. My face was smiling before and Snake told me, huh, you're not smiling anymore. Of course I'm not. So uh, I saw I saw you right after this race and yeah that was not the Jamato is used to seeing uh, <laughs> at that point you knew okay now now it it matters uh, uh, I have a list of a change now but I'll I'll actually have to fight for it now where with the first race it's just like you you're a bit more calm because you do have a second chance yeah. But yeah, he was he, Koke first. I think in second, he's all. And then me third. Yep. Then we're just getting past Lenoir. But yeah, that's. Um, well, congr I, as you see on the screen, I congrat them, but I'm not that happy at all. Yeah. But yeah, let's move on for the best race ever.